welcome, Master Heart family. It's our Monday gathering where we nourish our souls and our hearts. And it's really a time to uh, just, you know, come together with similar minded people and uh, to share the good news, all the magic, the miracles that are happening. And remember, everything is a miracle. Uh, and, and so our committee will call it as bad or unwanted and judge it in some way. And uh, maybe, in fact, what you want to do is write down, instead of judgment, uh, think about compassion and curiosity. It's really an interesting way to look and just look at things in your life. You know, you get a flat tire. You heard uh, Mike was sharing with us before we started that uh, his son has a fever that just, you know, look at that as, as with compassion and curiosity. And when you do the um, it, it, it removes the, the committee and um, and you're able to think more clearly about, you know, what it's doing. So, for example, again, Mike mentioned that his son had a fever. And um, so when you look at that with compassion, they have compassion towards that. And then um, curiosity on, you know, I wonder, I wonder why God is doing this. I wonder how this is going to help his health, that it will help him to, uh, he won't get the flu or whatever, that he'll become healthier from this. And so it's just a completely different perspective. And when you have that and you're thinking healthy, then in this example with Mike, that what happens is that uh, your son will get, get healthier. And so when you look at, and again, the two words, it's very uh, compassion and then curiosity. And when you just, uh, and what it'll do, it'll raise you up, it'll raise your vibration so you it can raise your point of attraction on seeing the truth on what really is happening. So welcome, Master Heart family. I'm so excited to be with you that we're going to have a magical time today that we have uh, Archangel Gabriel and there are seven archangels and Archangel Gabriel is the angel of communication. And we're going to invite Archangel a little bit later, invite Archangel uh, Gabriel in. And uh, he is, uh, they, each one of those angels, archangels have um, a, a, something that they can give us. It's, it's what mankind that have walked before us have uh, asked uh, for centuries on principal things. And in this case, uh, Gabriel is communication. So we're going to all end up being angels of communication. And don't you just love that? Mm -hmm. And so every time, anytime that you want to communicate with God, your higher power, when you want to communicate with another person, when you have a call with a prospect, whatever, always call in Archangel Gabriel and he will make you the angel of communication. Isn't that fun? <laughs> yeah, so good morning and well, or good afternoon and what is going on? So who has some good news to share with us? Who wants to share the magic that's happening in their lives? Mm -hmm. I jump into it. Steven? Uh, uh, hey. Sure. Am I, on mute? Am I on mute still? You, can hey, you got it. Yeah, we okay. can hear you. Thank All right. You. Um, you know, I had been asking God to um, remove any obstacles from my life that would help uh, be inhibiting me from moving forward, and he did. And he stepped wow. up and moved some really good people out, and uh, <laughs> it had to happen. It had to happen. He did what I could do for myself, so I'm good. It's yeah, really helpful. That's, Very helpful. that's awesome. So, uh, and let me just, you know, kind of comment and, and uh, some helpful things that, um, so instead of obstacles, because then if you're praying to get rid of obstacles, I'm thinking of obstacles. So sometimes I'll create more obstacles. And so it's uh, more about what we want. And um, that that most of us think about 80% of the time and the things we don't want, even when we're saying, I don't want whatever it is, you'll start attracting it. So instead that um, I want my wave to be smooth and easy. <laughs> 
Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's smooth and easy, and it's fun and enjoyable. I use, and again, I would write down some of these words of divine uh, words uh, given to me, and that you know you could just cherish. But like when I um, uh, prepave my travels, that I never say the word traffic. Okay. And, uh, and instead what I do, and I never even use the word safe because are you, are we really thinking about safe or mm -hmm. thinking about unsafe? You know? Mm -hmm. And, um, so, so the way I talk about travel, Stephen, is that, that my travels are easy, smooth, enjoyable. And when I'm going to be with someone like, um, uh, Jenny or whatever, and then we laugh a lot. And next thing you know, you'll be traveling and laughing a lot. And so that's great. But way to ask because you did ask for what you wanted to remove. And um, and then you mentioned people. And so people um, are contract. And so remember, we have to have contrast in our lives. And, um, and what we want to do is rise above and, and raise our vibrations so we can attract the people that we do want. And so, and again, you did a great job, Stephen, on, hey, you know, that I no longer have those obstacles, those people, just again, a different way to maybe praise it and to think about it is that um, uh, it's kind of like a merry-go-round that, um, you know, when we were kids, uh, there's those little hand merry-go-rounds where you got to push it yourself, you know, and go around. Well, think of that you have your own merry-go-round. And um, and your energy is making that merry-go-round go around, if you will. And I'm hearing a lot of <laughs> static there, so I'm going to mute everybody, but then just unmute yourself. And um, and so this merry-go-round that of yours is going around. And like right now, there may be some people on your merry-go-round that are providing a lot of contrast and you're not very happy with, and they are getting in your way, if you will. Well, instead of focusing on go away, because actually when you say go away, they're coming as you're thinking about them. Instead, you think about, I want to attract amazing, similar-minded people, similar-minded people like the Master Heart family, okay, who help me to my desires. And so when you start asking to attract people that help you with your desires, what happens is that your vibration starts rising, you're going faster. And those people that don't meet what you're asking for, they very gently fly off the, your little <laughs> your little spinning machine, if you will. And they go off into the bushes and they're just fine too because they have their own little spinner, if you will. And uh, so they're going to be just great. But you will then start attracting the most amazing and miraculous people. Like when I think of each of you, you guys are just amazing and the relationships that we have together and the wonderful experiences that we've had together that you know it's just been incredible and so we get to call and some people go well you know I can't get rid of you know whatever and it might be you know, like my family members, like my brothers, or <laughs> my, my sisters, or maybe some of you, your mom, you know, whatever, that um, they're also contrast. And I always say that, you know, um, each one of us, we're such powerful creators, we couldn't wait to get back here. And uh, when we, uh, and we were able to pick our parents, and some of you might be saying, well, God didn't give me enough time to pick my parents. <laughs> and actually, they provide an excellent contrast for you. And you need the contrast to understand what you do want and the people you do love. So, um, uh, and you can change people. And, and see, we've been given this belief that you can't change other people. But if you continue to think about Uncle Harry and how bad he is at Thanksgiving, Uncle Harry is going to turn into a monster. So instead, start thinking about these people. And I would write this down, positive aspects. 
what are the positive aspects? When you start seeing positive aspects, because believe it or not, Uncle Harry and each one of you probably have Uncle Harry. You know what I'm talking about. You know, somebody you're living with, relative, you know, old past from business, whatever, that that Uncle Harry, that believe it or not, he could be, he or she can be angelic too. Every one of us can be angelic or not, and we get to call it. So when you start thinking differently about other people, then you actually will see other people change right in front of your eyes. And But if you keep on thinking about the things you don't like about them, their behavior that you don't like, and I'll give you a perfect example of, uh, of mine. I love giving my own experiences because some people think I don't have contrast. We have to have contrast in order to uh, grow, to, to, to be able to expand and put the eternity into everything, expand with what our thought and our emotions. So my example is my oldest son. He lives less than a mile from me. And for whatever reason, he never invites me over for Halloween where I could see my two grandchildren in their Halloween costumes. But just yesterday, we were, or Saturday, we were at a ball game and we had the most amazing conversation and it connected us so deeply together. Now, that conversation would have never happened if I would have looked upon that he never invites me to the Halloween and stuff, I just want, hey, that's going to lead to something greater, a better relationship for all of us. And so what has happened? It, it is now a better relationship. So instead of getting mad, look and look with compassion and curiosity. Beautiful. Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate you, man. Congratulations. Other miracles, other good things happening. Can I share? Yeah, you share. Um, so I've been on these calls consistently since like the end of June. And I've noticed, especially this past month, my committee is coming less and less. I don't know if it's just, if it's not coming or if I'm catching it sooner and, you know, yeah. looking at the contrast of what I want, but I, I've just been vibing so high. I've been feeling so good. I've been concentrating on the fun that I want in my life. Yeah. Like singing and dancing all the time. Like I was jamming out in my office at work today, just in my head, the music in my head, just singing. And <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know what it is exactly, but thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, shell, that's beautiful. And yeah, what happens. And so I have people that, you know, sometimes coach with me not only once a week, but twice a week that uh, have, have had some even, you know, more, even more than that. And uh, it's just because of this vibration. And as you start feeling better and you get these thoughts versus we could all be watching the news right now that spends millions of dollars on finding things unwanted in this world. And I can guarantee you, there will always be the unwanted. There will always be the poor. There will always be the sick, et cetera. And why is that? Because that's how this world is, is it has everything we want and everything we don't want, and we get to choose. And so, so that's one component um, on there. But shall also that you recognize you have a committee. Most people just think the thoughts that are coming to them, this is how it is. And I'm supposed to be mad at this person, upset with this and angry at that and poor me. And I'm going to go to my pity party and I'm going to put on Facebook my pity party and then more people are going to say how sorry they feel. You know, and, it, and they just think this is how it is. But when we rise up, and all you have to do is ask. I just ask to rise up. And I ask to go above my committee. And to be clear, what is the committee? The only thing working against any of us is our committee. And it's, if you will, the devil. And it is that chattering voice that, and it is uh, this, you know, in your head, this, this beautiful mahogany table with leather executive chairs. And these guys, their fear and worry doubt and complaining and shame and guilt and all kinds of other things, anger. And at the head of the committee is the judge. And who's it judging? Mainly you and what a bad job you've done. 
<laughs> and every one of you have done a beautiful job. Everything is playing out perfectly. In fact, you will get to a point where you actually love the committee. I love the committee because it's part of the contrast. It's simply what I don't want. And it does not create unless I get into it for at least a minute. So if something happens, and you know, like that example of mine where, where I had this garbage can and went had a garbage can went slamming down on my toe, and uh and I went, oh, I'm human. I went out, and then I looked at my toe and I went, this is so cool. I love watching the miracle of my healing. And that blood started coming out. I went, oh, it's just so great. It automatically cleans any germs away. And it's already, you know, the miracles are already happening. And so that will happen automatically. But when you put your conscious mind on it to have the miracle happen, it goes even faster. And so it's like, this is so fun. I have all that is that does these things. Like, you know, no doctor does the healing. And we love doctors, they do amazing, wonderful things, but they don't do the healing, who does? The essence, the energy, the loving energy of the divine that actually creates everything for us. And so we do the asking, the Father does the work, and then we just need to allow it in. So congratulations, Shell, on, on, uh, yeah, uh, on being able to manage a committee now. You don't have to believe these thoughts anymore about poor you or whatever, or my poor leg or my health or whatever. Look for the good. And so ask, I want to see what I want. Oh, and then you'll start seeing what you want in every situation. And so I saw the miracle of my toe you know, healing. So uh, one last thing on that, and that is just monitor. You don't have to even monitor your thoughts. Just monitor your feelings. God communicates to us with our feelings. That's why we have guidance every moment of every day. And when you feel bad, it's simply telling you that you're not thinking about this the way God is. And that's why to every day to ask for better feeling thoughts, divine God thoughts, and that I want to feel better. Today, I want to feel better. It's that easy. And God knows exactly where you are, what you want, and the easiest path, back to that easy path, the easiest path to get you everything that you want. And you'll start seeing that everything starts becoming magical. And so, Shell, your, your life is becoming magical. You're playing songs in your head and dancing around at work and just enjoying life. Whereas the other people, most of them, they're just unhappy and can't wait to whatever, go someplace else. And it's all in this moment. It's all this present that we have in the present moment. Beautiful. Thank you, Shell. Other good news? Other things going on? Thoughts? Yeah, I want to share. Hey, Mia. Hi, Dr. Hank. Hi. <laughs> um, of course, happy Veterans Day. I know it's past, but yeah. just so I can tell you verbally. Um, so I want to say thank you to you because um, this this weekend, I I was able to um, to witness some things. I I got the the call from my dad that he was uh, diagnosed with liver cancer, uh -huh. and um, this is his third bout of cancer. Yeah. He has. Um, he's had, you know, two other types and he was able to overcome that. And, you know, I could imagine like when I first heard his, him having cancer years ago, you know, just how distraught I was about it. Yeah. And, you know, the committee already tells you what's going to happen and, you know, all of that. And I, I recognize that this time I wasn't there. It was kind of like, oh, okay you know, well, what's the next step, you know? And, and so as I was talking to him, I realized that my dad naturally doesn't listen to the committee. Cool. And I think okay. quite honestly, because his, my, my uncle, I, I didn't even get to meet as a child. He passed of, of the same sort of cancer when he was younger. And my dad told me the difference between him and his brother is that, um, he doesn't, he, he hears what the doctor says, and then he just goes and does his own thing. <laughs> and so 
he was telling me like, yeah, you know, I, I just uh, cut out sugar and I'm, I'm drink, I'm eating all these fabulous fruits and I'm taking these herbs and I'm really enjoying it. And, you know, he, he's in a, in a head space that's just like, well, you know, I had it twice and I, you know, this will be no different. You know, I'll yeah. be here. No worries. Yeah. And I'm just listening to him talk and I'm just like, wow, like his committee yeah. is just like sitting, you know, under the bleachers. Like they have nothing <laughs> to say <laughs> and he's not listening. And then, um, you know, I, I, but I also noticed that I didn't have a, the sort of response you would normally see people have when they say a loved one says I have cancer. Yeah. And I I really do feel, you know, like, okay, dad, you know, I, you got yeah. this and, and it's, it doesn't feel heavy. Yeah. Um, yeah. It doesn't feel heavy. And um, the other thing that is another subject that most people would take heavily is a, a, a good friend of mine, one of my best friends who, who lives in London, we had a chat yesterday, just kind of catching up and she confided in me that she had been having some dark thoughts and over the course of the last couple months and she had to call the the suicide hotline and you know and and so she and I were talking and I just in that moment I started thinking well you know God what can I share with her what can I do to kind of be of service to her right now and so I started telling her about the Master Heart family and what you teach Dr. Hank and about uh, the committee and those thought those thoughts kind of running running rampant. And at first she wasn't open to hearing it because she was deep in the committee. Right. Um, and you know, she took a breath and we talked some more. And I was just sharing without sharing names. I was sharing just stories of, you know, some of the family members here and just how I've seen changes in everyone's life and including my own. And by the end of it, she was just laughing and happy. And she was like, who is this Dr. Hank? <laughs> you know, she was trying to look you up. And I was like, you know, just sharing all the wonderful things. And um, she messaged me this morning and she said, I slept so good last night. I feel so great. And I realized that she calls it shadow, the shadow, you know, that is the committee. And yeah. she was like, I realized that when I'm in shadow, like I'm really just following a bunch of lies. And that's what I've been doing all this time is following a bunch of lies. And so um we decided, you know, we decided that we want I haven't seen her in seven years. Yeah. Um and she said, I'm gonna come to the States and visit you. Yeah. And 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 we're gonna have a wonderful time. So we're we're planning that for next year. Yeah. I just want to say thank yeah. you because yeah, everything that I've learned here, I was able to impart to her. Yeah, you know, and it yeah. was beautiful. Oh Mia, that's just so wonderful. And I, I don't know. Every time you talk, I always have tears in my eyes. You're just so <laughs> angelic <laughs> and uh, and so moving, and the the thoughts that that you have, you know, it's just just uh, grand. And so I love the word uh, shadow that, see, what happens with the shadow when you sh shine a light on it? The shadow goes away. And that's what we are, is we're the light and the light of the world. And you can do these things and even greater. And so as we become lights, and the way you become a light is to look for the good, is to ask for the one to ask to feel better and to, to ask for, to, to look at what, what the, the way you want it. And, um, and so you didn't get into your pity part that you hear about your dad, that it doesn't matter how he responds or whatever. In this case, yeah, it's great. He doesn't have a committee, doesn't listen to the doctors. The only opinion that you have to care about is God's opinion. And what is God's opinion? Just how you feel. So because you responded with, hey, yeah, Dan, you got it. And you felt good. In fact, you felt better. You felt empowered. And that's with your friend. See, your friend was feeling disempowered. And I help people that are, are usually uh, teenagers or early 20s and um, that want to commit suicide. 
And what happens, you can never disconnect fully with God, your higher power in the universe. Um, but you can get to the point where you want to just leave this uh, earth, even though we all chose to be here, that, that it, it just got too disconnected, uh, too disempowered, and didn't realize that we're the ones that call the shots. We get to do the asking, and whatever we're thinking about, that's what's going to happen. So it doesn't matter what happens is happening in front of you. It's old news. Everything is created from your thought. And then and that turns into your feelings. And so that, those thoughts, that that's where the creation happens. And that's why if anybody says, hey, you know, why don't you face reality, Mia, and, you know, face the facts about your dad, say, you know, I'm never going to face reality. I'm going to create it. And what's the worst that can happen with your dad? He goes to a better place. Like, what the? <laughs> you know, like, and I've been to that place several times. And that really, you know, you kind of say, do I have to go back? <laughs> And then, and we have eternal life. So he's always there. And I know some of you have been talking to like your grandparents and communicating with your grandparents that aren't here physically. You know, I yoga with my mom every week. And, and uh, so it's like, this is, if they just go to a better place. You know? And so when we start looking at it and what's worse that can happen, we die when there is no death. But the fact is that if they do go, it's their soul's choice too and they're in a great place and now they can help guide us too and make us feel better and have more of our dreams you can call on them they're angels that's when i say you know you ask and then your angels go out and gather up all your goodies and gather up thoughts people circumstances and events to make your life magical and so anything that is happening in your life right now if you look at it and ask Show me the wanted in this. Show me the good in this. That you'll start seeing it. And I'll raise you up. And then a couple other things. Under the bleachers. I just love that. That um, your dad's committee is under the bleachers. Most people's um, committee are the cheerleaders in front. Saying go, go, go. Against, against, against. You know, a bunch of things. And so I love that, that your dad and all of us. Our, uh, our committees are under the bleachers. You know, don't even see him here. I mean, what we do see him here, hey, no big deal, you know? And, um, and then this idea about dark thoughts. Exactly. We get to choose. You don't have to have dark thoughts anymore. You don't have to have dark thoughts about any person, any circumstance. You can just ask for, I want, want the light thoughts and to be light and to rise above. And um, and follow a bunch of lies. The last thing, again, he just said so many wonderful things. But yeah, why on earth am I following a bunch of lies? These committee members that this is a magical divine life. This is beautiful. I get to call. We are leading edge creators. And now we're becoming deliberate creators instead of being ran, managed, and running, chasing those thoughts that don't get us to what we want. They're simply unwanted thoughts. And now this, the, the heavens part and all the things we want come to us. Hmm. Other thoughts? Thank you, Mia. Other thoughts, comments? Yeah, uh, Melanie. Hey, Melanie, you can unmute. We got to uh, unmute. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, I'm having good. technical difficulties this morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Melanie. <laughs> okay, so uh, last week was rough, but it all came out good. And my son is hopefully on his way out of the house. But that weekend prior, I wanted last week to tap in and mention it, but I didn't. But, um, yeah, I set out to be able to attract the people in my line of work that really will value it and who have been looking for it. 
And I, I, I got a little girl who's in a wheelchair and, um, she's got something called CPRS and this work that I do alphabetics, I reset brains, bring it out of a high energy stress state. And a lot of times, you know, it's been found with people with, uh, conditions that just develop that seem from out of nowhere and they can't explain it. It's yeah. just because of the brain not being able to contend against the stress. Yeah. So this child and her mother have started coming to me and it is bringing light to a whole group of people. I don't know how many there are, but who have not found any answers. And so yeah. I'm waiting on all of that to unfold, but yeah, yeah. it's a great it's, thing. Yeah. It's like, wow, I asked for, you know, people that really appreciate me that I love what I do that, um, uh, that I'd like asking for. I want people that, that want and pay for what I offer. And there's everything in this world that we want. And so you simply ask Melanie and you're just so angelic. Uh, you ask, and then you recognize it. That's the other part is that, you know, let's make sure we we see the blessing. We mm -hmm. see the answer. And then ask for more. I'd like more. And I love where, where you're looking at. Yeah, and this is leading to a whole group. It's similar to our Master Art family here that, you know, this was just a thought on, hey, similar-minded people to come and to come with heart and a safe place, if you will, to come and be able to share all the good news and and, uh, and to actually channel with the divine and grandparents and angels and, you know, do things that, that you know, most of the world we were brought up told, oh, you shouldn't be doing or whatever. And so you ask and then, you got, and all of this, it's a parade, just imagine of a parade of wonderful people now coming to you and that you're able to help them. And so that's beautiful, Melanie, and the way that you have, uh, just in your personal family situation, what you mentioned there on that, um, that yeah, our kids are just fine. You know, we, we don't have to be taking care of our kids anymore, that we did our responsibility, we birthed them into this world and they have their own guidance system and they have their own power to be able to be, do, and have everything that they want. And so send them love and well-being. And similar with like Mia's dad, send love and well-being, health, wealth, and success. I send that to each one of you every day. <laughs> love and well-being, health, wealth, and success. And let the father do the work, okay? You don't have to do it anymore. Your responsibilities are now over. Woo! <laughs> so congratulations, Melanie. Way to ask and then allow it in. That's beautiful. And uh, one last comment. Uh, other anybody else want to share some good news or have a question? Comment. Well, with that, let's go ahead and. Uh, we're going to call in Archangel uh, Gabriel now. And so there's, again, seven Archangels. I have a recap of all seven. If you want them, just text me or call me or email me, whatever, um, that uh, to understand what they are. And they, they come with light. And so think of light as, um, and each one have a, a separate color. Uh, Gabriel of communication has white. And think of light as it hitting your mind. And then it comes with energy and energy thinking, think of it as your emotions. And then it comes with angel dust. Think of your body and your body into every pore of your body coming in. And so again, if you think of light is the mind, so it's a trinity, mind, body, spirit. And so when you ask for their light to come in, there that impacts your mind. Uh, the the uh, energy impacts your emotions, and then the angel does impact your physical body. And so with that, let's all... Um, close our eyes it's easier to go within that way and just close your eyes and now we're going to breathe and the uh, words uh, in the bible the word spirit is breath it's the fastest way for you to connect 
your higher power and all that is. So breathe in deeply, five seconds. And breathe out and just say to yourself, relax, relax, relax. Breathe in. And breathe out and say to yourself, at ease, become very comfortable. Breathe in. And breathe out and just ask to become tender. So tenderness just flowing through you now. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, just say to yourself, soft, become soft at ease. So comfortable, so loving, and breathe in. And release. And now let us call Archangel Gabriel. And I want you to just imagine way out in the distance, in the blue loving sky, in the divine heavens, there's this little speck of white light. And it's a glowing, beautiful, bright, white light. And now let us call Archangel Gabriel in. We evoke you in and that white light now comes from the heavens and swirls around. It's getting bigger and closer and bigger. And now you see Archangel Gabriel in front of you, this beautiful white light, angelic looking with wings, and it's smiling upon you, and it loves you so much. And you invite, we invite now, Archangel Gabriel and your white light to come into our mind your white energy to come into our emotions and your white angel dust. And you just sprinkle your beautiful white angel dust onto us and flows into every pore of our body, into our blood system, into all of our systems of our body, our nervous system, our muscular system. And we call forth you now. I am Archangel Gabriel, the angel of communication. And I now am creating you as an angel of communication. You now have this vibration within you that is just perfect for you to receive communication from others from the world, that and as others communicate to you now, you understand, you have understanding of what they are saying, what they're communicating. And they can communicate in any way. It may just be thoughts about you that you receive. It may be the language that they're speaking to you, maybe their presence. And you now understand and you not only understand, but you listen and you hear their words and their communication to you. It touches your mind. It touches your heart. And you have a full understanding of their communication and a full understanding of what they want, what they're really in need of. And that is love. 
Oh, and you love that so much that you become one with those that communicate with you. And then, because you are now an angel of communication with that white light of mind that is in you and around you and through you, that when you respond back, your communication, you have the perfect vibration for that. They receive fully your message. They not only listen to your message, but they hear your message. You touch their mind and illuminate their mind. You touch their heart and they feel your love. They feel your communication and they understand fully and completely on your communication to them that through your mind flows out words and thoughts that go into the word that become so powerful and impact them so beautifully, angelically, to where they understand your communication. They understand what they want now. And then you show them the way and you give them the answers and solutions to what they desire. And you just love on how merrily you are with others now, angelically, that they turn angelic. And that all of us now go for all the communication to everyone and every circumstance and event and that communication that we communicate, that we raise everybody up and they're on their lighted path. And together, that we're skipping along this lighted path. We're going down the corridor of joy with the doors, those white doors of a Abundance just swinging wide open, and our communication is perfect, is angelic. And it's so beautiful to receive communication perfectly and understand, and then to give that communication back of understanding and showing the answers, the solution, the way to all that is one. Now breathe in and breathe me in. And I am always with you. And so before any conversation, during any conversation, any communication of any kind, call me in, breathe me in as you do now. Just see your mind illuminate in the white light of mine and how your communication is now so angelic, so beautiful, so uplifting. You're an uplifter of the world and you do it through your communication. And for everyone from your loved ones to those that soon will be your loved ones, to everyone in your life and everyone that you now attract in your life. They see you as the angel of communication. They love communicating with you. They love being with you. They love being uplifted by you. And as you uplift them, they uplift you. And there's this perfect dance, this perfect tapestry of communication back and forth that creates all of our dreams coming true now. It's so glorious being the angel of communication that you each are now. Breathe me in, feel my white light in your mind. Feel my white light in your emotions. Feel my white light in every cell of your body every organ, every system, every function, that you are now the light of the world and you communicate the love of you to the world.
I now invite you back into the room, back into your seat. Just feel your brightness. Feel the glow that you now are. Every room you walk into, it lightens up that room and the people in it. You are divine. You are pure love. Three down to one, and at one, open up your eyes. And three, and it's the beautiful three of our minds, our body, our spirit, which is our emotions, our breath. And now we relax into two, and it's you and God as one. And one, open up your eyes and welcome this beautiful, beautiful life. Woo! <laughs> ah! How you feeling? <laughs> I feel good. Do, 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 do. Like I mean, then I will. <laughs> Beautiful. So we have a few minutes uh, left. So before we do some singing, that uh, um, your thoughts on this or other thoughts that have now come to you that you'd like to share with us to uplift us, you angel of communication. You all look so much brighter. My goodness. <laughs> thoughts? I just want to thank everybody for sharing their hearts today. Um, Steven, Melanie, Michelle, Mia. Um, I just, it's, I've only been on here a couple of weeks, so it's nice just to get to know all of you and know what you guys are going through. Um, it just encourages me and allows me to kind of see what else everybody else is going through that we all are like-minded and just kind of going through the same things in our lives and we're not alone. Um, so it's just really nice to be a part of a group that offers this and I've never had a business or a company that encourages this <laughs> or talks about it. Um, I mean, it's very rare when even friends can talk about this. So right. I just wanted to say thank you. Yeah. So. Fantastic. Yeah. And because there is this world that has everything in it, that there's all the people that you want that are like us, if you will. And you can just call in that you want more people. And, and, um, and then uh, Rachel, because you are, you know, relatively new, if you will, that, you know, and if you um, want to connect with somebody and just want to talk to them, that, um, just go with me and I'll connect you guys or whatever. And, uh, uh, because we have all kinds of little things going on, you know, relationships going on and fun things going on with each other. And uh, sometimes while we're going through this right now, we have personal chats that are going. I know Joey and Deborah got caught like two weeks ago over <laughs> and Joey saying, man, you look better than ever. <laughs> you know, Deborah responding and it went to everybody. It was supposed to be private, but yeah, it's all, <laughs> it's all uh, it's all just you know fun it's all love and, and we're we're actually all of us and when i say all of us all of humanity we're all connected together by heart mm -hmm. and each one of us are just pure love and when we realize that and understand that um that uh, you know there's there's nothing to guard against there's i i have a friend who, who uh, I'm helping who finally realizes that I don't have to, doesn't matter what the world is doing out there. It does, uh, there's nothing to guard, there's nothing to protect, there's no boundaries. If you start setting boundaries with people that you're gonna have to have people, you're asking God to have people on the other side that are doing whatever you don't want and you don't want that. So you just ask for what you want and just be thinking about what you want and then you'll just get the things that you want 
And as you start really embracing this and understanding this, and as you experience it, that when you ask for something and all of a sudden it comes true, you know, like what Melanie, for example, uh, shared with us that, wow, I just need to ask for it. You know, what I've been doing is saying, oh, I don't want this. I don't want that. I'm mad about that. And then you're just going to get more of it. And your vibration goes down, down, down. What this does is helps for all of us to have a vibration rise and feel better. And why do we want to feel better? Because that's where God is. That's where joy is. And we all want to be back home and homeless right here, right now in joy. And so as we just feel good, and that's why your week, Rachel, and you'll start seeing your life is going to get better and better. And, mm -hmm. and, and so every week to get a dose of this, if you will, that it just gets better and better. And you'll have more business, you'll have more money, more easy money, easy life, more uh, big, happy surprises. And so one of the things to ask for is big, happy surprises. I want big, happy Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do. I have one more thing. So when I do this, I get like really, really hot and like my hands burn and tingle and they vibrate. And so I'm guessing this is a normal thing. Yeah, yeah, meditation. yeah. So this is the true high that uh, we're after. You know, we've used alcohol, we've used sex, we've used drugs, you know, all these things because we want to be with God. We want to feel better. And that it's actually all right here. We don't need anything and don't want anything from this world. That what we want to do, this is an inside job. Mm -hmm. The kingdom is within us. And as we think, and as we manage our thinking and our feeling that, yeah, you will feel better. I mean, literally that, like you think you're tingling now, you're going to be tingling, girl, that it just start asking for my heart to sing. Ask, I want my heart to sing every day. And God will find ways to create the circumstances, the events, the thoughts that will make your heart sing. You know, I love geese. And, um, and, and I love when they fly over me. And so I, I have this feeling and, and like, that's the other thing, your intuition will increase where I had this feeling to just walk out on the porch and there's no roof over the, uh, this part of the porch. And so I just walked out there. I didn't know why I was walking out. It was the morning, you know, and, uh, and God knows I love these geese. And, and I love the uh, number 21. 21 is a magical number. It's three times seven. And, and uh, the three, you know, mind, body, spirit, and seven life. And so there's all kinds of things behind that. And, um, and I just breathe in deeply. And so I'm just breathing in deeply. And all of a sudden I hear from behind me, oh, just one. And so God was calling me to look up. And I look up. And right over my head, I mean, you know, this is like 20 feet over my head. 20 geese fly over and they're just, they're barely moving their wings. And they fly right over just gracefully. They're like, and I, I it started to count them as when they flew by, 21 of them. And I could hear their angelic wings. And it just went, and I could hear that. And it gave me breath. Most people say, take my breath away. No, no, it gave me breath. It made my heart sing. Big, happy surprises. 21 of them just flew over my head. And this is what life is about. It's not about, gee, you know, I got to get the money. It's not about manipulating the world. It's about having these magical times. And when you have that magic of the geese and they raise up like that, then you raise up your vibration and all of a sudden the money will come to you, the business will come to you, the people, the wonderful, the smiles, the laughter, everything will come to you. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so tingle away, girl. Tingle away. <laughs> okay. And you're going to be doing it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, with that, that um, 
We always do. And thank you so much, Rachel. That was great and very inspiring. We're ready for our singing. And is everybody ready? I'll sing the first uh, phrase and then you sing the next one. And I changed it up a little. We like to laugh and have more fun. Everybody, we like, we like to laugh, laugh and have, have more fun. fun. We like children here. For we are the communication ones. <laughs> For we, we are, are the communication, communication ones. ones. I put communication in there because we gave her help. <laughs> Connecting is our new fun game. Connecting, Connecting is our new fun game. game. Happy is our middle name. Happy, Happy is, is our middle name. name. Unmute yourselves. <laughs> You're good singers. Your committee says you're not a good singer. You all have angelic voices. <laughs> well being is our divine right. Well being, well -being is, is our divine, divine, right. divine right. The universe is our guiding light. The universe, the universe, universe is our, our guiding, guiding light. light. <laughs> this is how we now live. This, this is, is now how we live. live. <laughs> By only thinking positive. By, By only thinking positive. <laughs> Sound off the Master Heart family. Sound, Sound off, off the Master, Master Heart, Heart family. Sound off the Master Heart family. Sound, Sound off the Master, 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 Master Heart family. family. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, with no committee, you don't give a hoot what other people think or say or whatever. You just care about you. And when you care about you, then you care about God. And then the whole world will love you. And I love you and can't wait to hear all the good news that happens this week because we're flying high now for a spectacular magical week love you all bye bye bye, bye. Thank, you. thank you dr hank it was wonderful have a good week bye bye thank you.